empty case has gone cold. Read over these notes, then see me in my office in five. Mystery has surrounded this case for quite some time. Just what happened to Humpty? Did he jump? Was he pushed or was it just an unfortunate accident? Was he really a good egg that came to an unfortunate sticky end? Or was he hard boiled, a bad egg who finally took a tumble? Hmm. Back to scramble. Let's crack this shell and get to the yolk of the matter. It says here that he was employed by Mary Mary Quack Contrary and that he had a great fall. So the last investigation assumed it was an accident? Yep. But now, according to the chief, there's been an anonymous tip-off. That's why we're reopening the case. Any idea who the informer was? The chief thinks it was little boy Blue, who's suddenly gone missing. Our job is to find him. Pronto. He was a shepherd's boy for Mary Mary. And according to this, he was one of the first on the scene. I say we call on Mary Mary and see if she has an address for the next of kin. Someone knows where he is. I heard she's a tyrant. Wasn't she charged with deprivation of liberty? That's right. Assorted business. But we could never make the charges stick. Come in, close the door, sit down, shut up, and listen. Is she checking for bugs? Be quiet. Listening in. Listening in. Fool. The bugs are after my tongues. Now, listen. Don't drop the egg case. The DA says there's no point wasting resources on a small fry up. But the fraud squad can smell a rotten egg a mile off, and they've been tiptoeing around on eggshells ever since word got out we'd reopened the carton. You mean case? Case, carton. What's the diff? Stick with it. Takes more than one egg to make an omelet. Crack the Humpty case, and you might end up with the whole souffle. Close the door on your way out. Why are you cleaning that? You told us to clean it yesterday. Well, today I don't want you to. Stop your blubbering, you little suck. She's so contrary. Tell me what you know, or I will attach you to the silver bells. The thumbscrews won't help us talk. Tell me where the little bow and her lazy little brother. We don't know anything. They just disappeared. We don't have the answers you want. I can't wait to see your headstone grow in my garden. Come blow your horn, the sheep in the meadow, the cows in the corn. Little boy Blue, come blow your horn. There's no sign of him. Notice anything else, Jack? There's no sheep. Hello, we're Jack and Joe. Well, Mary Mary is quite contrary. Oh, we've got her in a bad day. How does your garden grow, madame? With silver bells and cockle shells? And pretty maids all in a row. Torture is illegal these days, Mary Mary. But you can torture me any day. 
Why, thank you, Jack. I'll keep that in mind. And if you don't watch yourself, I'll have the thumb screws on you, too. They're so pretty, and I do love screaming. Jack, how would you like to try out my brand new cockle shells? No, thank you, madame. We're here to ask you about the disappearance of little boy blue. Who? Little boy blue. She's in the middle. It's so hard to find a good underage shepherd boy these days. I hope you're making a note of all this. I'm getting it. We also wondered what you might know of Kamigo's fall. I was asking questions before. I know nothing about his fall. All I can say is Humpty was a good egg. A wonderful decoy. He guarded the goose that laid the golden egg, you know. I don't feel safe at all without him. But I will find who took my goose. Well, and Mr. Humpty was its custodian. Got it in one, honey. Was well, little boy Blue good friends with Humpty Dumpty? We have information that he was first on the scene. Did he have witnessed the incident? He was always under the haystack fast asleep, the lazy little sod. Well, could someone have woken him? He might have seen something. No! Don't you know your rhymes? For if he is woken, he's sure to cry. Well, there is no sign of him under the haystack now. Do you have a history of his little What are you implying? I don't like your tone, Miss Jill. Just doing my job. Looking for a missing witness that was last seen at this location. Well, you ain't gonna be looking around here. My dungeons are off limits, unless you want to join me in some fun. Or have a search warrant. Who were Humpty's friends and associates? Uh, was there anyone close to him? A girlfriend, perhaps? No. I don't bother knowing that sort of thing. But my lovely rich fiancé might know. You can ask him if you like. Fetch the grand old Duke of York for me, please. Unfortunately, madam, he's off marching his spending hours. You'll find him marching over yonder hill. He's not too bright, you know, but he's loaded. Thank you, Mary. Mary. Feel free to come back for pleasure, but for business, bring a warrant. What an awful woman. Lucky Hunky having her for a boss. I'm thinking he probably jumped to escape her. Well, if Humpty knew the secret location for the goose that laid the golden egg, that certainly would have been a motive for murder, wouldn't you say, Jill? I certainly would say. Uh, ah, look here is. Grand old Druga boy. Ew, what does she see in him? Money pits. Money. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Good morning, sir. Jack and Jill from the old Silver Richard Grand Sorry to interrupt your morning stroll, but we're investigating the mysterious fall of Humpty Dumpty. Ah oh, yes, Humpty Dumpty. Nasty business. If I had boiled for a scramble, never thought he'd end up like that. An omelette at the foot of the wall. Dear, dear. This goes to show. It just goes to show. What does it go to show, sir? Well, he had some bad eggs for friends. Can you describe them, please? Well... It was one of Mary Mary's foster children. Are you ready for something like that one? Yeah. Yes! Foster children? I thought they were her servants. Little Bo Peep? Yes, little bird. Lost all the sheep I gave Mary Mary for her birthday. The special sheep they were of the rarest old sheep. Yes! Best oh. sheep in the country! Yes! Mary Mary's quite partial to gold. Anyway, little bird cleared off. Last I heard, she was trying to hawk the fleece. Has this theft been reported? Can you describe the little ball for me, please? I know it will be quite contrary. But if we catch her, then Mary Mary will be very pleased with you. Oh, oh yes, that's right. Swim build. About five foot six. Brunette. Long looking. Oh, chapter. Better be off. Oh, 
I'm telling you, Master, that little bone's got that golden wand, she's gonna hock it. That rich boy will pay big bucks to get it back. Let me round the girl and get it to hand over the knitting yarn on your shopper to the dame. Well, well, well. Lucky for us, he's a daughtery old fool. Harmless enough. But gave us a vital clue. A vital clue? Yes, little Bo Peep. I think that's a wild goose chase. Exactly. The goose that lays a golden egg chase? Look, all we know about Little Bo is that she had arguments with Mary Mary and lost the sheep. That doesn't connect her to Humpty Dumpty, the stolen goose, or Little Boy Peep. But you heard what he said. She hung out with Humpty. Trust me, my instincts never fail me. We're supposed to be looking for Little Boy Blue. Look, just go with me on this. Don't you think it's odd that they've both gone missing? One may lead to the other. And if she's hot to sheep, I know just where to look. Let's check out Bobo. You could be on to something. Farmer fleeces everything. You're off in a hurry. And don't master's time. Well, hello there, Mr. Baba. You know what day it is? What have you got for me? Watch this with master. You do want to keep feeling safe and protected, don't you, Mr. Baba? How come with all this protection money I'm paying, I don't feel so safe? Now, now, Mr. Baba. It's not nice to be so unappreciative. You don't know how bad things might get without me looking after you. So what have you got? I heard there might be some nice golden fleece on the market. Funny you should say that. I just came into possession of some golden fleece. Should I, should I put you down for a bag of that? Sounds good. How about you put me down for two bags and I'll make sure your shop doesn't burn down. Call it fire insurance. Deliver one to me and one to a little boy who lives down the lane. I owe him a favor. And don't try and mess me around. I don't like being messed around. Mary Mary, uh, I just uh, came into possession of some uh, rare and unusual items. Uh, a golden fleece. I am um, willing to understand you to pay a handsome amount for it. Yeah? Put, put your name on it? Dame. Okay. Now who do we have here? She certainly matches the description. Good morning. Jack and Jill from the Unsolved Nursery Premium. We're investigating the mysterious fall of Humpty Dumpty. So, what's got to do with me? No need to be aggressive, we're just asking questions. Well, what if I don't have any answers? Perhaps you could start by giving us your name and address. This is harassment. Just routine procedure. Routine, routine. Name? Oh, uh, um, Golas. Address? I was staying with these, um, bears, just out of town. Worst day. No fixed address. So you're apparently homeless. A vagrant. No! I was just on um, holiday, okay? Right. So what can you tell us about Humpty Dumpty? Never heard of him. Are you sure about that? This is a small community, and it was big news at the time. Look, I know nothing about your crazy egg, okay? I don't recall saying anything about an egg. Look, I just guessed that, okay? Lucky guess. So arrest me for guessing or get lost. This is harassment. Can a girl be safe in the street anymore, minding your own business? Very well, Miss Goldilocks. That will be all for now. Nasty piece of work. I don't believe the word she said. I don't believe she was Goldilocks for starters. Why is that? Goldilocks? She was a Of course! Why are the cops on to me? I'm asking about Humpty. I said you could have the wool. What more do you want from me? All you have to do is collect it. So leave my kid brother alone, please.
morning, Mr. Barber. Oh, it's you. We can assure you the three little pigs are not in our crime investigation unit. All pigs smell the same. What do you want? I'm Clay. We're investigating the mysterious unsolved nursery crime of Humpty Dumpty. What crime? Oh. He's always showing off on Mary Mary's wall. We're using kind of acrobat. Dead and wrong. That's a very callous attitude. Yeah, well, we ain't all those soft sinners like Humpty. Yeah, I'd not be being all right. So you know nothing about the incident? Only local gossip. Can't arrest me for that. We've heard someone may have done him in to get to the goose who lays the golden egg. Give it a break. Everyone knows about that. He's always danced along the walls singing about the goose. The guy was a big mouse. No wonder he got scrambled. These bags. What's in them? What? Nothing. You can't go poke around my shop without a search warrant. Just pretend we're customers. I'm looking for some nice. Bags of wood jelly. Well, well, just what we were after. So, um, all sorts of stuff to do. You wouldn't have a bee. Please try a little bow peep sheep. Would they? Little bow peep who lost her sheep? Yeah, right, lost. Lost. And they just so happen to turn up here. Some girl comes in with some sheep and wanted some quick cash. It looked like she was rough. How was I supposed to know that was not a sheep? I sent him the customer. I didn't ask these house. You didn't leave a name or address? I said something about the corner. I figured he lived on the corner of the lane. Mr. Barbar, you should be more careful who you associate yourself with. This matter won't end here. We'll be back. Bag the bags. We'll be taking these to evidence. Hey! What? I'm innocent! I'm clean! You, you can't do this! Called the black sheep for nothing. Well, let's get these bags back to the station. I'm not sure how they tie in, but I'm sure they do somehow. Oh, great, it's you. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Nothing. You rang me to say you have a special package. It's got my name on it. It's labeled Dane. It's this just. It's just been a little itch. What do you mean, a little itch? I'll hit you if it's not here. I'll hit you up to one of my gallows. It's bad enough I'm having to buy what was rightfully mine in the first place. This is your little misunderstanding before. Rough him up! Rough him up! Now spill the bait! You've already spilled on my beans, you nasty cow! What did you tell them? You didn't say anything about little Bo, did you? You didn't mention those missing sheep. Jokes as well, you're rich. Got it, Baba. I want my wool. Get it.
It must be code for something. Hello? Hello? Is this the code K-Squad? Yes, madam. I gotta be quick. Just listen. Don't ask questions. Can you give me your name? No, I'm in danger. Then... No, just listen. I think I know who's going with you. Humpty? In the back you got from Baba's? Blackmail. Blackmail. Listen, the one for the boy who lives down the lane. He's big trouble. That's mad little Jack. Jack who? I can't say no more. He lives on the corner. There'll be a party tomorrow night. Hello? Hello? Listen, don't ask questions. Baba came to a nasty end this afternoon. Seems his shop caught fire. Door was locked from the outside. Nasty business. You're on to something. Stick with it. Hey, you kids, come over here. Yeah, says who? What for? Cops, I can smell you. What do you want? We're looking for a friend of ours, known as Little Jack. He lives on the corner. What do you know about him? Since when have cops got friends, huh? Could be we know him, could be we don't. Maybe you could help jog our memory. My friend Jack here has a nickel for each of you if you can help us. A nickel? Ain't you heard of inflation, lady? Hey, it's a nickel or a trip to the reformatory. What will it be? That would be Little Jack Horner you want. Little Jack Horner lives on the corner. Now give us our nickel each because that information is deadly. Who 
is she? This friend of yours. What's her name? Little Bo Peep. Sure thing. She's always here. <laughs> she works here. Well, thanks for that. I'll make sure our parents and I catch her. Do you want me to tell her if she I see her? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. I want it to be a big surprise. Cool. Bye. Bye. Did you get that? Every word. Jack and Joe from the Unsolved Nursery Crime Unit. We're looking into the Colmio case, if you know me. Who was the nicest girl like you working a day job? A figure like yours was meant to be a new show. I could make you a star. Call around after 10 p.m. and I'll put you on the spotlight. Jill! Here's my card. Jill, pull yourself together! I'm interested in what you might know about Bo Peep. Bo Peep, Bo Peep. Now, I ever heard that name before? Ah, it does ring a bell. Very tiny bell. I don't know every girl that comes here. I am very close. What about Humpty? What can you tell us about him? You know what the papers say? Foxes were involved in the incident. He seems to have just jumped into the river. Come 
making a wrong fort, were you? Preparing up. Destroying evidence? Ooh. We have an eyewitness who says that Humpty Dumpty was seen bringing a valuable goose to this cottage only a few days before his fall. Or we will charge you as an accessory. But, but I don't have any accessories. Let's take your own precaution. Yes, and that in the cell will jog our memory. I can tell you what I remember. I just made a new gingerbread man, and I went to get the poor dog bone at the butchers. And when I got back, the dish had run away with the spoon. And through the window, I could see the gingerbread man running. That's right, you're putting your thumb and pull that up. A plum office is a plum. Don't you know your rhymes? It was a trick of the light. I always use golden plums in my pies. A likely story. You owe them. Well played. But first, we need to chew him. That's no good Drop the charges over the dish and spoon if you complain on the rest. Oh, gorgeous. Surely not accusing little old me. Why is little Poe working here? He's underage. 
I'm not responsible for the hiring and firing of staff here. Then we'll ask your boss, Georgie Porgy. No! Fine. The child has a sweet voice. She sings in the band. She's underage, and legally we have a duty to return her to her foster mother. Who may press charges? For goodness sake, don't do that to the poor child. The law, as I say, is an ass. She was already working here. Washing dishes. She was waiting in the kitchen to look at the girls in Nightingale. So I stuck her into the band to sing occasionally. That doesn't explain why she was working here in the first place. Look, my playing career will be over if one word gets out I talk to you guys. She knew too much about Humpty and Humpty knew too much about the news, okay? So Humpty was pushed. But not by her. And so out of the kindness of your heart, you took in an underage girl to sing in the nightclub? Comprehension, not your strong point. Like I said, I'm not responsible for the hiring and firing of staff here. She was here washing dishes, okay? You people are trouble. You shouldn't have taken that wool. Baba's just a child shop now, and that's your doing. So where's the kids? How would I know? We can always pay you a visit home, like we did with Baba. No, 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 no. no. <sighs> Fine. She's at my apartment. She enjoys the music. Helps her lay more of those golden eggs, I suppose. That goose is stolen property. I know what you're thinking, but it's not true. I was simply protecting the goose. But that night, someone broke into my apartment and stole the golden egg she laid. Honest. We can do a test on those rings. It's true. Who's that scoundrel? Little Jack Who's Who's that in the corner? Down Humpty. Look. Humpty knew too much about the goose. That's what I can say. Names. The song's finished. If I'm seen talking to you guys, I won't have any fingers to wear any rings. Get it? how we can help. We're not a chemist, you know. Oh, I know that, dear, but I simply must tell you. It all came back to me in a sort of blurry, dream-like way. I don't think dreams or visions are admissible evidence. Oh, but please, you must hear me out. I'm sure I've got it correct this time. All right, Mother Hubbard, tell us all about it. Well, I distinctly remember hearing Humpty Dumpty on that dreadful night. I went to look out the window to see what all the noise was about, and there he was. A glorious egg silhouetted against the moon, dancing and skipping along the wall, and singing at the top of his lungs. Fancied himself a bit of a Pavarotti, but he was more of a Pavlova than a Pavarotti. Well, that's very interesting, isn't it, Jack? Mm. But, but that's not all. Don't you want to know what he was singing? Mozart? Wagner, perhaps? No, nothing foreign. He was singing about the egg, the golden egg. Please time. And hand me! I'm just doing my silk duty. This 
This is police brutality. And you've done nothing about my dish and spoon. I'm going straight to the newspaper about this. Blackmail letter from Humpty. Aha! Uh -huh. So little Jack Horner was Humpty Dumpty's killer. But look at the address. Dear Georgie Porgy, I am not the silly egg you think I am. I am a clever egg. I see many things on the top of my wall. I see everyone and everything in nursery rhyme. I saw your horrible little compass, Jack Horner, steal the egg from the golden goose. If you don't give me back the goose and the egg unharmed, I will report you to the police. And the Queen of Hearts won't like to know that the black boy has cheated her with the golden egg. Georgie Porgy? The master? And the Queen of Hearts. Whoa! Corruption at its highest level, Jack. Corruption. Yeah, sure. 
you take over. Don't you dare speak to me. Soon be arrested and locked up. Prison be too good for you. What? You wouldn't dare say anything against me. Or your little friends back home will suffer. I went back home before coming here. The children are now at the police station making formal complaints against you. That's your Georgie Party game though. You idiot, Jack Horner! I told you to eat that no! Jack the Jack the Coyote, Jack, shut up! The only place you're going is a jail cell. So weird. The egg. Safe in a pie. Not at your place. What? <laughs> Whoa! Honey, thought you could double cross me. You would have been exposed years ago if it wasn't for And I've been paying you for it, honey. Don't honey me, you dirty lowdown cheat. So, you ain't got the gift. And you ain't got the egg. Bad move, Georgie Forgy. And you're last. I've got the egg. Give it to me! Oh no, you don't! Look! A swarm of ravenous blowflies! I'll shoot the vermin! I'll kill them all! Hold it right there. Hands in the air. Little Bo, get his gun. We are arresting you three on suspicion of torture, blackmail, extortion, arson, and the murders of Humpty Dumpty, Baba, the Gingerbread Man, and the Queen of Hearts. Wait! I ain't no criminal! I didn't do nothing wrong! Haha! Uh, <laughs> Quiet, you ungrateful trollop! You'll never make the target stick! Where's the evidence? I'm sure forensics will prove that this gun killed the Queen of Hearts. We'll get you for that, if nothing else. You'll find Jack Horner's prints all over that gun. Master! No! Why, you dirty rat! I'll fix you! You're gonna find Porgy's fingerprints all over that can of gasoline that was used to torch Barbars. You prepared to testify to that? I sure am! And to fix that dirty double crosser up for good, I'll testify he pushed Humpty off the wall as well. That's right, officer. I was a witness. It's like I've been in hiding. The Queen of Hearts told him to do it, but he did it. I couldn't go to the cops, because the cops were behind it all, but I'll testify now. Look here, kid. The way I see it, that there egg belongs to you. You mean it, mister? You mean it for real? You hear that little boy, Blue? He can finally get out of nurse around land. Oh, Jack, that's so sweet. Take him away, boys. Charge him murder one. You and I make a pretty good team. Let's say I take you out and buy you that soda. We can do that, Jack. But first, you need to get cleaned up. Go fetch that pail of water, and don't expect me to come tumbling after. Extra, extra! Read all about it! Jack and Jill, Jack Case, Chief Police, Dan, Redfield, Scotch, Rupture! Read all about it! Thanks.